Hi, this is the lesson number 34 in this series of British literature and in this lesson we shall be discussing the important name that is Richard Tottle. Richard Tottle, he is not among the writers but he is a publisher, the famous publisher. About his lifespan, he was uh, living from 1530, his birth, to 1594. So, a famous English publisher, his shop was located at the Temple War, Temple Bar, sorry, Temple Bar on the Fleet Street in London. And uh, majority of his work was to print legal documents. So, he was giving services to the king and uh, authority so he was just uh, printing the legal documents and later he turned into or turned his business into publishing the books about father William Tottle, mother Elizabeth Matthew and uh, they were 11 brothers and sisters so they were 11 brothers and sisters and he was the third tallest oh sorry eldest third eldest and uh, he was the first publisher or of the work that is anthology of english poetry anthology of english poetry and about his other published works so remember he was only among the publishers so he was just publishing the works written by the other writers so we have several titles and uh, so we it, it may not sound uh, uh, enjoyable to you but uh, I we have to just go through these titles because there is nothing much to uh, enjoy as a literature but the titles we have so the first that uh, he was the official publisher of history of Richard the third history of Richard the third and then legal year book so yearly a book was published on Henry the eighth and Edward the sixth Henry the eighth and his son Edward the sixth and then another title to his name of publishing that is a treatise of moral philosophy a treatise of moral philosophy containing the sayings of the wise so long title in 1547 it was published written by William Baldwin William Baldwin and then another title a dialogue of comfort against the tribulation a dialogue of comfort against the tribulation in 1553 after that another title is works works and uh, it was written by Thomas More and published by Richard Tottle then fall of princes so you may just recall with which writer this name is associated fall of princes is associated with john lydgate in 1554 it was published then we have pastime of pleasure pastime of pleasure and it was written by stephen house stephen house then uh, another title translation of cicero cicero's d officious Cicero is the writer and uh, ancient writer and the translation of his work De Officius. It was published in 1556 and in English it was translated by uh, Nicholas Grimald. Nicholas Grimald. His name will also come about uh, uh, the another work that is about Total's miscellany. Uh, we shall discuss pretty soon. And then we have the translation of the second and fourth book of Virgil's Aeneid. So Virgil is a Roman writer, Roman ancient writer. So his work is Aeneid and uh, he has translated. Uh, sorry, who has translated this book, second and fourth book by Henry Howard. So about this writer we also uh, discuss pretty soon. Henry Howard translated this work. Virgil's Aeneid, second and fourth book. There are, I think, 12 books, if I remember. So, Henry Howard translated this work, and Henry Howard is the Earl of Surrey in 1557. 1557, 
and published by Richard Tottle. And then another title we have a hundred good points about husbandry. A hundred good points about husbandry. And this book is about animals. So husbandry is associated with the animals. And it was published in 1557, 1557 and written by Thomas Tusser. Thomas Tusser. Then we have the most important that is Tottles Miscellany. Tottles Miscellany. So about this title. This is about the collection of songs and sonnets. Songs and sonnets. So it is the first printed anthology of English poetry. First printed anthology of English poetry. So this is the thing I discussed earlier that uh, it was first published by Richard Tottle, the first printed anthology of English poetry. So in anthology means this is the collection of the poems and songs and the sonnets written by the various writers. So this was the first collection appeared in publishing. And about uh, this title, it contains name of the two writers. So who are the two writers associated with Tottle's miscellany? The first is Henry Howard, the name we just uh, discussed a few titles before about the Virgil's Aenea uh, translated by Henry Howard and another is Thomas Wyatt. Thomas Wyatt. So his uh, works we also discuss pretty soon. So just try to remember these names because when these name these names sorry when these names uh, started repeating. Uh, occasionally or frequently sorry then you will also remember and uh, try to it will be easier for you to recount or re uh, call the things easily quite easily you will recall so there are 271 poems in this totals miscellany so among these 271 54 sonnets written there in this collection 54 sonnets among these 54 sonnets, three by Nicholas Grimald. Nicholas Grimald, this writer is associated to the translation of the Cicero's De Officius. Okay, so then we have 27 by Thomas Wyatt. Thomas Wyatt, nine are unknown. Among these 54 sonnets, nine are not known who has written. Three by Nicholas Grimald. 27 by Thomas Wyatt and 15 by the Earl of Surrey. Who is Earl of Surrey? Henry. Sorry. Uh, Howard. Henry Howard. So in Total's Miscellany, now we have now six editions. 271 poems, 54 sonnets and six editions. First edition 5057, then second edition 31st July 1557. Then 1558, then 1565, then fifth one is 1567, and the last one is 1574. So all those, these things are just for mugging up the facts, not to remember too much about these things. Okay, it won't be possible also. Okay, from the given choices, I think it will be easier if you go through this lesson once or twice. When in the exams you have the things uh, as an option, perhaps uh, may you find you may find a bit easier but if we just keep on mugging up these facts uh, may not help okay so I'm just giving you the things I am also not enjoying this lesson you also as a if you are going through this lesson you may not also be enjoying the same then we have another title that is the tragic history the tragic history of Romeo and Juliet so remember Romeo and Juliet written by William Shakespeare but he also brought uh, the plot or the Romeo Juliet uh, concept uh, or the history from another writers. So it is not the uh, uh, Romeo Juliet written by William Shakespeare. This one is written by Arthur Brooke. Arthur Brooke, the tragic history of Romeo Juliet written in 1562, sorry, published in 1562 by Richard Tottle. Written by writer Arthur Brooke. And the last title we have to his publishings. Uh, the Palace of Pleasure. The Palace of Pleasure. 
and it was published in 1566-67 by William Painter. Okay, the name is William Painter. Collection of Cases. Collection of Cases, 1586 by James Dyer. Okay, so you see that there are a number of titles. So, just try to go through this lesson once or twice. Whichever stick to your mind, enough. Like the important name like Total Miscellany. Remember this title. Total's Miscellany. There are two writers associated with this work. Henry Howard and Thomas Watt. Thomas Watt. And then we have some other like Fall of Princes by John Lydgate. Um, works by Thomas More. And then translations of Cicero's uh, De Officius by Nicholas Grimald. And Virgil's Aeneid, second and fourth book by Henry Howard. So a lot is there. So whatever you enjoy, try to go through. And if something doesn't sound great to you, we may leave also. Because literature is only for the purpose to enjoy. Not up to, not for mugging up the things. Okay, examination is one thing. But uh, if we are not enjoying the literature, it will not help our examinations either, I think. So that's it about Richard Tottle, about his publishing career and about his uh, the major title he published. So in the next lesson, we shall discuss another writer from this age. So thanks for watching this lesson. Have a nice day and keep learning and enjoying the literature.